What's up guys? Uh, back with another gameplay video. This one's from my boy Adam Zero. Uh, we're gonna do a food fight tonight. I apologize for all the noise. Um, the garage finally got hooked up and uh, everything's on, so it's a lot louder than uh, the last couple gameplay videos. But um, food fight tonight, uh, su super Atari classic. Not a lot of people have heard of this game and I hadn't heard of it at first either. Um, I don't think I played Food Fight until California Stream 2006, maybe? Um, and I played it and fell in love with it. It's such a good game. Um, and a tough game to find, so... If you have the opportunity to pick up this game, if you're in this hobby, by all means do it. The um, cabinet is amazing. The, uh, the gameplay is really fun. It, my kids love it. It's it's cool for anyone just to kind of step up to and play. So um, we'll play it real quick. Uh, basic premise of the game: uh, you're a little guy, Charlie Chuck, and um, there's an ice cream cone that's at the left side of the screen, and there's food everywhere on the uh, on the levels, and you're trying to get to the ice cream cone to eat it before the chefs uh, throw food at you and basically kill you. So. Um, we'll play real quick. The game's tough. It, this is not going to be a long video. Um, I'm lucky if I get 100,000 on this game. Um, it's a tough, tough game, but super simple, really fun. So, here we go. Basic strategy, just I try and uh, keep food with me for each level. Um, you don't really have to start throwing food at people until, well, this level sometimes, level four. Um, there's these little holes here that you see that you can, if the chefs fall into them, you get points for them. You get points for hitting the chefs with food. And each chef does something different, which is kind of fun. They all have different kind of personalities, so to speak. The guy with the top hat is the worst. He's, uh, he's deadly accurate with food. These watermelons never run out, so this is kind of a cool level to get some extra points on. Uh, you do have a finite amount of time, though. As soon as the uh, ice cream melts, the level's over, and you lose your life, so. I kind of do this just to grab some extra points in the beginning. See as you get higher into the levels, everything starts getting faster and a lot harder. It ramps up really, really fast. The difficulty. If I can get to 100,000, I'll get an extra guy. So we'll see. So we got an extra guy. Sweet. 100,000, that's a decent game. For me, anyways. That was really lucky. Sometimes you get an instant replay. Oh, there you go. 
first game with instant replay, if you do something cool during the level, um, they'll show it again, which is sweet. It's really, really fun to watch these. so that the guys can't run and grab it. Because as soon as they get it, you're toast. They're gonna hit you with it. So we actually have a decent game going. Oh. I kind of blew that right there. Four two hundred. That's actually a, a good game for me. Food Fight is such a good game. Like I said, if you, uh, I don't know if you can play this well in main, just because the joystick is kind of a special deal. But uh, if you get a chance to play it, play it. If you can own it, by all means, do it. So, uh, thanks for watching. Um, if you like videos like this, go ahead and give them a thumbs up. Um, if you've never subscribed to the channel, please, please do so. Um, I'm gonna put gameplay videos of all my games up. Um, and check out our podcast. It's an arcade gaming podcast called Arcade Outsiders. Every Tuesday night, live on allgames.com, 11 p.m. Eastern. Um, we do the show every Tuesday night. You can find it on iTunes, Stitcher. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. I'll, uh, I'll see you guys later.